Welcome back to Hampden Park. The cheers that you can hear on the ground and the waving of flags behind me indicate that Scotland have become the home international champions, as Brown has said, for the first time since 1967. Uh, let's have a look at that home international table. Three wins, all bid, all matches played at home, but uh, worthy wins, six points. England losing today, just those four points, two wins against uh, Northern Ireland and Wales. Wales winning by a single goal last night against Northern Ireland, and Northern Ireland conceding eight goals without any victory at all. Let's get impressions now of the second half from our two experts, our guests, Dave Sexton and Lou Macari. Well, congratulations to Scotland. They thoroughly deserved their win. I thought uh, we, that is England, were uh, unfortunate in the sense that uh, we brought on Trevor Cherry at half-time to uh, staunch the flow in midfield. And uh, just a few minutes after, Scotland scored their second goal. <laughs> and so we've now, just at the moment when we want to go forward, We've got a defensive player in midfield, so that was unlucky for us, and it could have gone the other way, and we could have scored the second goal. Yeah, but the way um, Scotland were playing, I must say, they were always looking impressive in the second half. I mean, you'd forecast earlier, Lou, that you thought England might win by a single goal, so you must be very impressed. Well, I'm delighted, obviously. Uh, they played tremendously, team, you know, and uh, they're worth watching. Whereas watching the England team, I can't see how people would pay money to go and see them. The Scotland team, everyone wanted to play, and... There was a lot of flair there, individual ability. But the England team just seemed to be sort of static and nothing at all. I must say, Scotland had had the chances to take the lead, really, uh, by half-time, and it was very much with a run of play when Scotland scored three minutes into the second half as a result of two very bad mistakes uh, by the English defence. Well, I don't think that's so much a bad mistake there. A tremendous strength by Joe Jordan and speed and a great run and a really brilliant cross to Kenny Dalgleish. And that's gone through Ray Clements' legs. I mean, he'll dream about that mistake for the rest yes. of his life, uh, uh, Dave, won't well, he, really? It just goes, to, is... just goes to show it's always pays to get a shot off if you can. Because mm -hmm. even with the very best of goalkeepers, that sort of thing can happen. Well, here it is. And here's this, this tremendous run by Joe Jordan. And this was a really terrific pinpoint cross because he's running at top speed. Which is nicely controlled by Dalgleish. And he takes... The full back on, and there goes the shot. 999 times out of a thousand, it's safe. Let me ask you this, Dave, very briefly, if I can. Uh, Remy really has problems. Don has his problems now. Just how do you think he can solve them? Um, well, I don't think he's got too, too many problems. You know, the defence looks look, looks sound enough today. I think it's just up front, really, that we in the first half we looked quite sharp when. Uh, Pearson was playing well, we had a target man, but in the second half, we didn't have a target man, whereas they had Joe Jordan, someone to play off. So if we can sort that out, I think we'll be OK. But uh, Jack and Charlton said, uh, Lou, that this was a uh, good enough side to play with any side in the world. You would agree with that? Yes, yeah, so on, on today's performance, Scotland played tremendous, and regardless of the result, that's what you look for. You look to see hope for the future. And as far as the World Cup's concerned, I think there's more hope for Scotland than there is for England. It's a perfect night on which to win. Thank you very much indeed, Lou. Thank you very much, Dave. We're going to take a break and we'll be back very soon with the headlines, the scores, the results, all the things you need. So don't go away. Welcome back to Hamden Park and the one headline that matters as far as uh, this country is concerned up here is that Scotland are the new home international champions having beaten England by two goals to one. The crowds are still here, the celebrations are going on and they'll go long into the night I feel sure. There might be the odd pint sipped in the city tonight. There's a beaming manager down there, Willie Orman, he's now waiting to talk to Brian Moore. Willie Orman, the man of the moment, you must have been proud of your side today Willie. Oh I was very proud indeed, very happy for the team and especially for these fans here you know they, they've deserved a break and they got it today uh, I felt that uh, we played a lot of good stuff composed stuff we didn't give England many chances in fact I felt in the second half they only won in the first minute and one in the last minute and a good for, a good tackle by Tom for Saif in the last minute saved the situation when you win a goal down were you a bit worried no uh, I, I felt uh, in there that in, the, in the dugout that uh, maybe it was a good thing in a way because it just uh, lifted our play a bit that we needed uh, because we were being a wee bit casual in the middle of the field. And I felt we were giving the ball away for nothing at times, but we stepped up a little bit and we got the goal when it mattered, you know, and uh, we went on from there. What aspect of it pleased you most today for Scotland? 
Oh, I think the the I thought the the two central defenders uh, for Scythe and Jackson, Lost my grain, uh, Archie Gemmel. You know, I thought they name were them fantastic. All. Oh, well, really, you could name them all, really, because it was a team performance. Willie, I've heard people say this is the best Scottish performance for the last decade. I, w I wouldn't agree. This was the best performance. We, we, we had uh, a lot of good performance previous to this, but uh, it's the most satisfying one as far as I'm concerned. Going to be hard to get your feet back on the ground again. I think so. <laughs> I think it will be. Willie, very many congratulations for a marvellous performance. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You, Willie. So the score I need to hardly tell you, 2-1 uh, for Scotland, and we can have a look at these two, uh, three goals now, as we return to the studio. Played nicely there, look at McFarlane's run here. And a chance to cross it in again, towards Shannon, goal! Jackson up there, number five, number eight, Don Masson, Eddie Gray with his corner. Loaded in once more, and it's there, scored by Masson! Long ball forward there, McFarlane versus Joe Jordan, and Jordan's got past him. Todd really coming back hard, and still he got it in there to Kenny Dalglish. Could be very interesting. Same down between his legs ago. We've heard from the winning manager, Willie Orman. Let's get a reaction now from Don Reevy. Again, he's with Brian Moore. Don, I gather Archie Gemmell's just come into the England dressing room and has said, what was it? He thought we played uh, really well in the second half. He said he thought the least we deserved was the draw. Um, and I felt this. Uh, personally, in the second half, I was quite pleased with the, the team's performance. Um, Scotland had one or two chances early on. Uh, we got a good goal through Mick Channon. And then we had a defensive mistake by letting little Don Masson come in from the corner kick and um, score with the header. And then uh, Ray Clements is really upset because uh, it's very seldom he lets goals like they're winning. Must have been once every ten years he does that. That's all. He's said this many, many times, and I've told him to forget all about that one, that um, goalkeepers let things like that in occasionally. But knowing how professional you are, you can't be totally satisfied with that England performance today, presumably. Well, he never satisfied with any performance, Brian. I think even if you're playing really well um, as a team and winning matches, yeah, you're always looking for improvement. Uh, but I felt uh, when we lost um, Roy McFarlane, and we lost Duke Peace in the first half, um, the second half, I thought that um, we possibly deserved the draw. Um, as I say, you're never satisfied. I don't suppose Willie will be satisfied okay. with his performance, but uh, that's how football goes. Yeah. But, I mean, you've, got, you've obviously got a lot of work to do now between now and Finland. No, no, I don't think we should panic and start rocking the boat. Um, I think we should just keep working on the same pattern, and um, these lads, at least, uh, the battle had a go, and uh, I thought a little bit of pattern and shape there, and we were patient. And one or two little breaks, we might have snatched the draw, but... Um, We'll work in the three in the other three matches in America and, um, and then try and get right for Finland. Good. Let's hope it does go right for Finland, Don. Thanks very much for coming. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Don.